Shepherd. Remember when you were a puppy? One puppy, two puppy on a puppy bed. The littlest one has fur that's I'm red. kind of new, so I'll stick <laughs> with you. I like new places, seeing lots of new faces. And before <laughs> this day's through, we'll make good friends like you. Elizabeth, I'm working at the library today. Evan is going to watch you while I'm gone. Oh, great! We always have fun with Evan, don't we, Clifford? Maybe he'll take us outside to play. Summer's almost over. That's right, Emily Elizabeth. Fall's almost here. I'll get it! Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy! Did you hear that, Daffodil? Evan's gonna babysit for us today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's very exciting. I better get my favorite ball. We can play fetch all day. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Thanks for watching Emily Elizabeth this afternoon, Evan. Hey, no problem, Mrs. H. I always have a blast with Emily Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> and Clifford, too. Well, I have to run. Mwah. Don't worry, Mrs. H. I'll take good care of him. <sighs> hey, I have a great idea. Let's stay inside where it's nice and cool and watch a little TV. Inside? But we want to go play in the sprinkler. <laughs> <sighs> uh, I'm too old to play in the sprinkler. Besides, it's too hot and sticky and... Wow, Wh who's that girl? Oh, that's Vanessa. She just moved into the building. She's really nice. Really? <sighs> okay, Evan, if it's too hot for you, I guess we could stay inside. What are you talking about? I love the hot weather. Come on, let's go. Great. But I need to get my stuff. Sure. No problem. <sighs> Yay! Oh. Come on, Clifford. Whoops. Oops. Oh, oops. <sighs> <sighs> Hey, Daffodil! Ready to play? Oh, it's too hot to play. I think I'll just sit here in the shade and cool my ears. Well, I'm gonna play ball with Evan. Okay, you do that. <sighs> yeah. 
So, Emily Elizabeth, what did you say that girl's name was? That girl? Don't point at her. It's, uh, rude. Oh, that's Vanessa. Do you want to meet her? No, thanks. Not right now. Uh, not now, Clifford. Evan, could you please turn on the sprinkler for us? The sprinkler? Sure. That should keep you too busy. I'll be happy to set up the sprinkler for you guys. Oh, boy. I'd much rather play with that hose. I'll put the sprinkler right here. And I'll hook the hose up over here. And then I'll turn the faucet on like so. And ta-da! Huh? Hey, where's the water? <laughs> Clifford, let go! Come on, Evan, play with us. The water's really cool. I think I'll shoot some hoops instead. Oh, boy, I'd much rather play with the big ball. Clifford, I'm busy. Taylor drives to the post, catches his own behind the back pass, whirls and shoots. And it's good! Hi, Evan. Can I play basketball with you? I'm kind of busy right now, Emily Elizabeth. Why don't you and Clifford go play in the sprinkler some more? Here's Taylor again. He steals the ball, zigzags down the court. He's airborne! Yes! Two points! <sighs> Evan Taylor putting on a real exhibition here today. Hey, Clifford, look out! Clifford! Clifford! Everybody knows I'm the chairman on the board. Can I skateboard with you, Evan? Uh, not right now, Emily Elizabeth. Maybe later. Time to roll. Ruff, ruff. Not now, Clifford. I'm busy! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! I'd much rather go skateboarding! Can I play with you guys? Sure, Evan. Oh, poor Clifford. You're so hot. Evan, we're gonna go play in the sprinkler. You don't want to come with us, do you? Sure, why not? 
<laughs> what do I have to lose? <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Uh, 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 uh. Hi, Vanessa. This is my friend Evan. Hi, Evan. Uh, hi, Vanessa. Hey, I, I saw you saved Clifford back there. That's so cool. It, it is? Sure. And I've been watching you play with Emily Elizabeth. You're a really good friend. Well, uh, not always. But that's what friends do together. Clifford and Emily Elizabeth are my really good friends. Right, guys? Right, Evan. <laughs> so, uh, what are you reading? It's the new Star Wizards book. Really? I, I love that series. I haven't read this one yet. Oh, you can borrow mine when I'm finished with it. Thanks. Hey, maybe we can hang out sometime. Sure. Uh, you might want to think about changing your clothes first, though. Oh. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> well, bye. Bye. Cool. Hey, thanks, Emily Elizabeth, for being such a good friend. You're welcome, Evan. And you're all right, too, Clifford. <laughs> Come on, boy. Let's keep cool. <laughs> Wait, watch out! <laughs> a great story. Today's story is Speckle and the Pen Pals. Early one afternoon, Luna went to check her mailbox. Luna said she loved getting mail, but hadn't gotten any letters in a long time. None of them had gotten a letter of their own in a long time either. Then Speckle said he knew how they could all get mail. They could write letters to each other. Luna wrote about the apple tree in her backyard and the day it blossomed with flowers. Reba wrote about her last basketball game and how she scored the winning point. Darnell and Ravi wrote about the great new books they checked out from the library. And Speckle wrote a letter that was all pictures, drawings of every one of his favorite activities. Soon Luna's mailbox was filled with letters and so were everyone else's and they enjoyed reading and sharing their very own letters with all of their friends. The end. I love reading stories together. You know, Clifford, for such a small dog, you sure are a big reader. Ready to fetch your favorite slipper? Here we go! <laughs> nice catch! Emily Elizabeth, you've got company. Hi, Emily Elizabeth. Oh, hi, Nina. Hi, Clifford. Okay, I came to make sure you have everything ready for the first day of school. Knapsack? Check. Water bottle? Check. What about your clothes? <laughs> okay, okay. I'll go lay out my clothes. I don't know how you can be so calm about the first day of school. It always gets me really, really excited. I know. It really is a big day. But I know everything will be okay because I'll be wearing my lucky socks. Hmm, that's weird. I can only find one. 
Oh, no! You have to have those lucky socks. Without them, something awful might happen, like you'll catch a cold or glue your hair to your desk, or maybe the teacher won't let us sit together. You really think so? Think so? <laughs> I know so. You need those lucky socks. <gasps> oh, my gosh. My lucky hairband. Gotta go. Ready to go get your new school shoes? Mom, I've lost one of my lucky socks. And I've got to find it before tomorrow. Why don't you look for it when we get back? Mm. Oh. Okay, Mom. We'll be back soon. Mm. Gee, Daffodil, we have to help Emily Elizabeth find that sock. We? I'm sure it'll turn up. Come on, will you help me? Will you, will you, will you? All right, all right. Just stop doing that puppy thing. Great. So, where would we find a sock? Okay, I'm gonna take a guess. The sock drawer? Nah, Emily Elizabeth already looked there. But maybe she missed it. It's not in here. Daffodil? Uh-oh. <sighs> okay, that's enough sock hunting for me. But I have an idea. I was afraid of that. Yeah, we could look around the bed. Come on, Daffodil. Will you, will you, will you? Okay, okay. You take under, I'll take over. Great! Well, there's a gum wrapper, and a nickel, and... Oh, hey! Look! A dog biscuit! Mm. No sock under here! So, uh, <laughs> anything in the closet? Just a really cranky rabbit. Face it, Clifford, the sock isn't in Emily Elizabeth's room. It's time to quit. Oh, but I can't give up, Daffodil. Not when Emily Elizabeth needs my help. <sighs> well, maybe somebody took it. Somebody who loves socks. Or should I say, a two somebodies? Two somebodies? Oh, Flo and Zoe! They love to play with socks. <laughs> I'll go ask them. Hey, Flo! Zoe! Are you home? It's Clifford! I got it! Hey, Clifford! <laughs> Wanna play? Not now. Emily Elizabeth lost a sock. A really special one. And, well, I thought maybe you guys might have borrowed it. A sock, huh? Hmm, we might have a sock around. Well, can I see it? Well, that's a problem. Because if we did have this sock, it would be in our super secret place. Where we keep our super secret stuff. But maybe if you promise to never ever tell anyone where it was, we could show you. I promise. Okay, follow me. No, follow me. I'm the leader. Shh. 
Let's go. Here? Someone might have been following us. Look, Clifford. Here's our secret stuff. Isn't it great? Well, yeah, but what about Emily Elizabeth's sock? Oh, right. Oh, that's not Emily Elizabeth's sock. Oh, then you want to play tug of war? Come on, play tug of war with us. No, I don't want to play anything until I find Emily Elizabeth's lucky sock. Oh, she really needs my help. See you around. <coughs> well, the kittens had a sock, but it was the wrong one. Oh, that's too bad. Hi, Clifford. Hi, Daffodil. Any luck finding your sock, honey? Mm, not yet. Hmm. I have to go down to the laundry room now, but I'll help you look some more when I get back. Hey, Daffodil! I just thought of another way socks leave the apartment. They go to the laundry room to get washed. I'm gonna go see. Thanks, Dad. The little ones are asleep, Clifford. Sorry, Mrs. Sadarsky. No, no, Clifford. Come in. You're always welcome. Of course, Clifford. Oh, no. Lucy's sleeping in Emily Elizabeth's lucky sock. Maybe Daffodil was right. Oh, I'll never get that sock back. Wait a minute. I got an idea. I'll be right back. and fluffy. Thank you, Clifford. This is the best bed we've ever had. Thanks for the sock. <laughs> Where did you find that, Clifford? Emily Elizabeth will be really glad to have that back. You found the sock. Thanks for helping me look. Oh, I didn't help much. You know, Clifford, you were right not to give up. Well, I'm just happy I could help Emily Elizabeth. Ready for Clifford's surprise? Oh, Clifford! My lucky sock! Where did you find it? I think he pulled it out from behind the dryer. You know, Clifford, for such a tiny dog, you sure are a great big help. can get up there if I really tried. You think so? I know so. Clifford and I know that the first step in doing anything is to believe that you can do it. Uh, oh, almost. Well, since I can't jump that high, 
I'll just have to find another way to get up there. It might take a little practice, but when you believe in yourself and don't give up, you can do just about anything. That's why Clifford's idea to grow on today is believe in yourself. Oh. <laughs> way to go, Clifford. You did it! Thanks, Daffodil. I knew I could. <laughs> <laughs>